Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Veron from Star Sneaker Arts and welcome to 2024. I hope your past 8 days of the new year has been well and we're starting off with a traditional painting. Well, I say painting but I'm using pasta paint markers on, a, on an acrylic ground plate, I guess. Originally, I was gonna use these plates for something else but I bought it maybe a tad too big i only wanted something that was like four centimeters in diameter but i did not read the listing correctly it turned out to be two centimeters in thickness and not in diameter and i have five of these so here we are i don't know what to do with them so i'll just paint on them i guess that's what artists do i think So what these are supposed to be, I don't really know. I like to imagine that they're coasters and not just pretty decorative things. So they'll be coasters. Except, you know, it's been a while since I last used Posca markers, so I was kind of struggling trying to get the paint out. And since the acrylic itself was pretty slippery, which I didn't really expect, I should've. I didn't expect it to be slippery. The paint beat it up a little bit at the start, mainly because I think I didn't shake it well enough and maybe the paint separated a little bit from the liquid. So it was a little watery just beating up at the start. But once I got the Posca, you know, flowing again, it was a lot easier to work with. At this point in the video, I was still figuring out which would be the front and the back. Like, would the front be the part that I painted on or will that be the back? Uh, eventually, I would decide that the front would be uh, where there's no paint on it so that you know the paint won't, won't scratch off if ever you put a glass on it or something like that so i i did seal that with like the spray fix it thing eventually so hopefully the paint doesn't get scratched off with where and there one thing i actually do struggle as well in this video only at the start is the uh, the, the acrylic kept on falling down because of the tape that I was using. It's number one, we use tape from past paintings. It's also painter's tape, so it's not supposed to be that strong. So it kept on falling and falling. I had to press in the center sometimes while painting. So please forgive my long fingernails and my hands existing because the acrylic kept on falling off. Originally, I had a different idea for this particular painting. I want to do like a, I guess you could say like a hobbit pole background, but I realized maybe I was sticking my feet a little too deep. So I just wanted some easier trees in the mountain kind of thing, just to get used to the acrylics. So I do have uh, two more acrylics that I haven't used. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas that you want to see. Please don't give me too much of a hard time because I'm not used to using Posca and these acrylics. So if you wanna, if you have a cute idea, let me know. Um, yeah.
to kind of regret adding this part to the yellow line. Number one, the lines in the wonky, and two, it's not really spaced out properly. But it's there now, so nothing I can do about it. So now, we move on to round number two. One slightly intended, I'm sorry. So this one, this time, I kept the paper backing on it, which you will see me struggle getting off later because it was so finely and precisely cut. I, I could barely get that paper off uh, my poor nails. You also kind of see the sketches I did in the background, or I'm literally drawing on it. The sketches, the ideas that I think I want to do with it. Uh, so, but those aren't final, so let me know if you have ideas if you want to see. This time I'm doing like a beach scene, but I decided to use some um, more fun colors. It's the typical beach colors of sand and water. <laughs> I'm a little bit more comfortable with using this at, these acrylics and these foster marks at this point. So, yeah, less shaky lines overall. Also, I think because I used the pasta paints somewhat recently, they're a lot easier to work with now and the paint hasn't separated from maybe the binder. Uh, one thing I noticed with the first acrylic that I was doing was a little watery when it first came out because I didn't shake it too well and because maybe it already separated. But once you get that like watery thing out there, once you shake it a lot more, it should be fine. It should be working fine. So I'm using pink for the sand, and actually not just the sand, even the actual water is pink. But hey, it's pink, it still turned out super cute. This might be my favorite one actually. And even though I did see that I regretted putting that line at the top in my last acrylic round, I still kind of did it. I debated it for a little bit, 
and then I decided to make it, you know, actually good. So, no regrets. And now I will struggle with the backing. And while I do that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And let me know in the comments if you actually do have ideas still what I could paint on this acrylic account. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing if you want to see more art from me. And I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!